Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a quick video. I know it's been a while. Um, I just want to show you guys this new purchase that I made. This is the uh, Midnight Cat Studios Max Ace Patrell. So it's, uh, I don't know, I guess a collaboration between Midnight Cat Studios and Max Ace. Um, so let's get into a couple of things with this knife real fast. I'm going to post the specs um, in the description below because I, I don't have that off the top. I just found a little bit of quick time to make a video so I'm doing that for you guys right now I just want to do a little bit of uh, talking about this um, particular uh, Bally song here that recently hit the market um, I don't know I want to say like seven months ago six months ago I could be wrong on that but I, I just started noticing these on the market um, so anyway let's do a wait I know this thing is just over actually you know what how about instead of me talking about it, let's just put the scale out here. Let's get a quick weight on this guy. Uh, switch units to... There we go. Ounces. So that's just under 5 ounces as you can see, which is pretty nice. And for comparison, I do have a Fly Tie Benchmade 51 with the regular blade in there and that one is obviously a little bit lighter so about three quarters of an ounce lighter or something for that one all right so I want to touch on a couple things with this particular uh, Bally song here now unfortunately since I'm real close to the table and I'm looking over my phone I can't do any flipping for you guys nothing crazy like that I would recommend that you guys check out my Instagram um, I'll post that in the description box below uh, check me out follow or just you know you don't have to follow if you don't want just check out I do have a, a really quick um, video of me flipping this thing around um, nothing major but anyway let's open this bad boy up uh, and I know this knife is long as hell so I can't really get everything in focus here or in the shot so just give me a minute uh, or bear with me sorry about that all right so this is a long ass knife as you can see and i got some prints on there apologize for that i don't have anything close that i could wipe it off with i was just uh playing with it so you could see some oil and stuff on here um but anyways i should have made sure this thing was a lot prettier but you guys get the point you get the point, hey, look at that thing. So, I'm going to compare this to the Alpha Beast, just because a lot of people know what the Alpha Beast is. Um, I did just get rid of my Alpha Beast 3.0 to help fund this one here. Um, I do love the Alpha Beast, it's super awesome. Um, but I prefer this a lot more personally, and I'll let you know why. Why I personally like this better. The attention to detail on this battle song far exceeds the uh, Alpha Beast 3.0 um, in my opinion and really it's facts to be honest um i just don't want anybody to get butt hurt or whatever because you know what the the um alpha beast flips great i like this as a better flipper and as better quality in general but the alpha beast is still a badass knife i mean so i just want to compare it to that anyway this thing came stupid sharp as did the alpha beast by the way so i'll give credit where credit is due this is a little bit cheaper than the Alpha Beast, um, by like 40 bucks, I want to say. The edge on this, the consistency of that edge is insane. Like I said, the Alpha Beast edge came out really nice too. One thing I don't like about the Alpha Beast is that at the bottom here, on the Alpha Beast, the edge kind of just stops, and then you get blunt blade there. It doesn't finish off like this, where you got this nice sharpening choil at the plunge grind. And this is all just like stuff from my pocket. I, I'm really sorry, guys, that this thing looks not as pretty as it should look. Um, I just literally took it out of my pocket and started shooting a video. So anyway, um, yeah, so the Alpha Beast doesn't have the attention to detail right here where it comes to sharpening. Some guys don't care about it. Some guys do. I do because I sharpen my own knives. And plus, this is just extra detail where the Alpha Beast just, they just said, eh, whatever, and just left it. So um, anyway, this is not crowned the spine is not crowned however you do see that it's heavily chamfered there you can see that real deep chamfer on either side which runs also with the tang 
of the blade. You can see that chamfer all the way around, which the Alpha Beast does not have. It does not have that chamfer on the tang. It's just kind of rough and unfinished, actually. My Alpha Beast was kind of rough and unfinished at this portion of it, and it was actually not even symmetrical. It was kind of, I don't know, I mean, it was not even perfectly round. It was a little bit, like, just off. I don't know if they were... Um, you know trying to pump out the alpha B so fast because of demand so they kind of lowered their uh, Quality control. I don't know, but it wasn't perfect like this is this is absolutely perfect Nice and smoothed out When I chaplain with this thing I get no pinching zero pinching on this knife. This is a channel construction. You can get the um, sandwich construction as well um, I opted for the channel because i never had a channel knife especially uh bearings you could also get um bushings with the channel construction or uh with the sandwich construction i believe the uh the uh geez slipping for words here this um construction build right here you can only get bearings uh channel i'm sorry i was trying to say channel so the channel, you can only get bearings. Uh, the sandwich, you can get either or. Sorry about that. And I'm not going to edit it because I suck at editing. So anyway, the um, the finish on this handle is insane, too. There's literally no chattering. Um, the smoothness is just on point. And you can see also that chamfer running through on both sides of, the, of this handle. You got some nice chamfering there. It's just done so nice. So nice. I mean, it's just beautiful. That's pocket lint there. I mean, it is just like impeccable. Just absolutely beautiful hardware. Nice hardware. Also, the um, these are ceramic uh, bearings as well. I don't know if I already said that. Ceramic bearings, M390 steel, which is a very top of the line steel. Um, huge tang pins. Tang pins are screwed on. It, it did come with extra hardware. I'll show you guys in a minute what that came with. Um, what else was I going to say about this thing? Uh, latchless. No latch. Did come with a cool sheath. A nice leather sheath. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. The, um, the pivots are D-shaped. So you never have to worry about using two bits on either side to back out the hardware. Or, I mean, that's just, or like the Alpha Beast, how it's just rounded on the back, and you got to squeeze the handles together to uh, break loose your pivots, and it's a pain in the ass. This right here is D-shaped, so th these will never spin when they're inserted, which I love that. I wish they all had that feature. So that's just amazing. Just, you know, attention to detail, attention to detail. So anyway, I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. The um, look at that point on there. This thing is so wicked. Uh, the the grind is so, so uh, symmetrical too. Everything is just so so symmetrical on this knife. It is just look at that. This is beautiful, beautiful. Look at that edge. So consistent. You rarely see that, even out of high end knife companies. Sometimes you get like a fatter uh, bevel here and then thinner at the tip or vice versa. I mean, on either side of this knife, the bevel is just like perfect. Look at that. Look at how consistent that bevel is. That's just nuts. Um, yeah, so anyway, just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. I like the overall look of it with that swedge, that mean swedge right here. And it's kind of harpoon type looking deal. It's a very small recurve. Sharpening shouldn't be an issue since the recurve is so uh, slight. It's not like a really deep kukri recurve or anything like that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I really uh, like this thing a lot. And I really need to get my camera set up better so that I have more space between me and the camera so that I can do a little bit of flipping and, you know, let you guys hear it and stuff. There's already a couple videos on YouTube of that, so it is what it is. But anyway, let me show you guys quickly what it came with. It did come disassembled because when they ship them in from China, 
by the way this is from china if you guys don't already know that and it's super super high quality trust me i mean china makes a lot of crap but every so often they make they got some companies that produce some really good shit and this is absolutely one of those zero tap by the way zero tap very very little to no uh play on the handles at all uh so this is the case it came with like a kind of like a fake carbon fiber looking deal which is nice you got your little stamps here little stickers and then let's see if i have it in here or the other case because it did come with two cases one of them had the okay so it's in this one so this case had the handles and the other case had the uh hardware and the blade so they shipped them in two separate packages because sending a balisong assembled into this country from another country is technically illegal which is stupid but uh, they found a way to make it happen so I got some extra tang pins there, which is badass. That's awesome. That's a whole bunch of tang pins to him, and look at that. And then I got some pivots. I thought I had bearings, but I guess not. So you got extra pivot screws, and this is your D-shaped pivot, by the way. You can see that cut out there. That makes it to where when you try to back it out or mess around with it, you don't have any any issues with spinning which is so nice really nice hardware t8 by the way t8 so yeah it came with those extra goodies so yeah if you guys are looking to pick one of these guys up man i would totally recommend it i love this damn thing i got rid of my alpha beast because well I couldn't afford to have all these balisongs. Um, I needed to get rid of that one to buy this one, so I did. I actually bought this one first and played with it first uh, to make sure I liked it better than the Alpha Beast before I sold the Alpha Beast, and that's exactly what I did. So anyway, that's just my personal opinion. The attention to detail on this knife is absolutely stellar. So if you guys get a chance to pick one of these up, man, I would super recommend it. Well, there we go. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like, subscribe, and uh, stay safe, guys. Have a good one.